Okay, so apparently I've seen some videos where people have managed to get extremely low graphics on games using this app called NVIDIA Inspector. And the way this seems to work is it forces the GPU driver to forcefully lower the LOD bias used by the rendering API. And since this effect is applied on the GPU driver, this should work on virtually any 3D game. So I thought, what about Unreal Tenement? Well, let's try. So first, we need to install NVIDIA Inspector, which you can find in the link in the description. Note that this will only work if you have an NVIDIA GPU, so if you are an AMD or Intel user, then you may need to find another program for your hardware. Once this is downloaded, you can open it using 7-zip or WinRAR, and extract it. Once you have this folder, you can move this to wherever you want. I'm just going to put it into my program files for convenience. Now once it's in here, you can select this NVIDIA Inspector and create a shortcut and put this on your desktop. Now when you open this, you should see a page that looks like this. Click on this icon right here and you should get a bunch of settings and profiles. As you can see, there are a crap ton of pre-made profiles which are linked to their respective executables, but there is not one for Unreal Tournament 4 here, so we will have to make one ourselves. Let's click this button to create a new profile. Let's call it Unreal Tournament 4. And it should create that new profile. Now, let's link the correct application to this profile. So you're going to want to go to where your game is installed. Open the folder, go to Engine, Binaries, Win64, and select this right here. Click Open. Now that the profile is ready, we can modify the settings to use ultra-low potato graphics. To do this, start by scrolling down to Anti-Aliasing Transparency Super Sampling, and set this to AA Mode Replay Mode All. So now, go down to Texture Filtering LOD Bias, Direct X, and you want to select a really, really high number. Now the highest number that this drop-down list gives you is 3, but if you type in this hexadecimal, 0x0000078, that should give you a value of around 120, which will make the graphics very, very, very low. Now that we are done, now click Apply Changes, and then close the app, and we are ready to go. So now when we run Unreal Tournament, the graphics should look pretty bad. Alright, so let's just jump into a match and see what it looks like. And okay. This looks pretty crappy. Wow. Okay, um. So, as you can see, this is what happens. Wow, the floor is just invisible. I don't know if this game is still playable. Yeah, all these effects look it was so weird. They're like squares. This looks like TF2 or something. This is insane. So as you can see, this looks kind of crappy. So now that we know what it looks like when we're using these graphics, Let's now compare the frame rate to see if it's actually worth using these settings. So, when standing here on VM Chill, on low settings, we're getting around 56, 57 FPS on average in this location. So now we're running the ultra low settings, and surprisingly enough, the FPS is exactly the same, which doesn't really make sense to me since if there's less textures being rendered, how is the FPS still the same? Well, maybe it's because this computer is really old. You guys can try this out yourself and tell me what results you get. But yeah, with this computer, no change in FPS, which is kind of shocking considering how bad these graphics are. Now, since we know that this works on virtually any 3D game, let's see what it looks like when we try this with some of the older versions of Unreal Tournament. Luckily, there are already presets for these old versions of Unreal Tournament, which makes them easier to set up. Let's just input the same settings from before and see what it looks like. 
So let's check Unreal Tournament 99. Okay, the intro already looks pretty bad. Let's hop into a game and see what it looks like. <laughs> the logo was just like five pixels. Oh wow. This looks really bad. There are just no textures at all. It's just like the texture is just one color. Wow. Yeah, so... The good thing is, there's no like invisible blocks or anything here. This game is actually still perfectly playable on these settings. Which is pretty nice. I don't know if this will give an FPS boost. I already limited the FPS to like 20 on this computer. So I don't know if I can make the FPS any higher. But looks pretty cool. Wow, the shock rifle is just like translucent. That's so weird. Now let's try Unreal Tournament 2004. <laughs> the NVIDIA logo in the intro is just missing. Alright. What the... The entire title screen is just a bunch of blocks now. What? I don't know what to click. I'm guessing this is instant action? Okay, good. Um, let's... I don't even know what I'm selecting here. That looks nice. Um... Which one is play? Okay, that's not play. Uh... It must be this one. Okay, nice. Oh, wow. There's like effects. All the effects are just blocks. That's so weird. So, I, I, what am I even playing? Oh, is this CTF? Okay, okay. Let's see what the let's see what the guns look like. Let me get some guns. Oh, wow. Red flag taken. Oh wow, the HUD on this still looks good. Blue flag taken. All the effects are just super simple. It's so funny. Red flag drop. Red flag return. Uh, I don't have a crosshair, which kind of sucks. Oh, Link Gun looks good. Okay, yeah, like, I cannot see where I'm shooting. The crosshair is gone. No. I can see the minigun. I cannot even see the bullets. That's nice. Oh, flat cannon. Oh, wow. It looks kind of cool. Like the little the diamonds at the end of that. This looks this could make this art style could make a game on its own, gotta be honest. This actually looks pretty cool. the rocket launcher oh wow <laughs> it's just like it looks it's just a gray little cylinder <laughs> this looks so funny so i guess that's it for this video feel free to try this out yourselves and tell me what you think in the comments below and subscribe for more content like this in the future